One of the typical questions that I usually ask candidates during the interview is, assume that you have a slow Linux machine and you want to find out what is causing this. In more than 99% of the cases, the candidates say, okay, we run the top command. But when I ask them how you really use top command to find the culprit, in more than 80% cases, I don't hear a solid answer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can do it by taking some very simple steps. First, when we run the top command, as you can see here, I usually press one from the keyboard. To, so it's going to expand the CPU to the logical CPUs that I have in the system if you enable hyper threading. So you can see I have four CPU threads and we can see the stats for each of them, right? So right now, all these four CPUs are consuming 99% of you know user space, but I can see there is no much IO weight, means there is no IO activity or disk activity. So there is no much read and write operations, okay? However, when I check the total number of uh, memory usage, I have around 16 gigabyte memory. I see 50% of that has already been used. And the output of top command by default sorted based on the CPU usage, okay? So I can see the top CPU usage processes for bash processes, but none of them are consuming any memory. So who is the process that taking 50% of this memory? I can find it by pressing Shift M. If I sort the processes based on the memory by pressing Shift M, I can see, oh, there is a Python process consuming more than 50% of the system memory. And that's the key actually that can be helpful for you to find out which processes are consuming memory, CPU, and also disk.